What's up, people? Checking in here, trying to keep the moon in focus. I don't know if any, any of y'all ever watch uh, Bruce Sees All, but that's a pretty cool channel to watch. If you're into, uh, you know, whatever the hell is going on on the moon and shit, which, you know, I could give a shit to an extent. <laughs> but if you're going to look at something, he catches some crazy stuff. Definitely things moving across the moon and whatnot. Pretty cool. Oh, what's going on here? Who's that? That's happy. I just gave you a peanut happy. You're not eating them. You're stashing them. Not stupid. Now the happy squirrel and psycho squirrel. I'm running around here. Psycho is crazy. But yeah, people, you can see what's going on. You got the real. Oh, there's psycho. Freaking hell, psycho. Hold on. Hold on, psycho. Ooh. Psycho's aggressive, boy. But you can see what's going on. You got the bright white stuff. All fake. You can start to see the gray. That's real. You can see out there the gray, the yellowish. The sun actually reflecting off the clouds. Making the colors that it should. Whereas this stuff always stays bright white. And then sometimes red at the end of the night. Which is a characteristic of geoengineering stated in a freaking Senate hearing. But that's what we got to work with. You know, I don't see this situation changing anytime soon. Well, I don't expect much from Trump until he's, he's away from this investigation, which is really bullshit. But you could tell it's still uh, hanging on him for him to talk about it in the State of the Union address and whatnot. And that's why the Democrats are dragging it out, because that's all they have. They can keep saying, well, there's an open investigation, like they do keep saying. Meanwhile, you had the uh, bipartisan committee, intelligence committee, both say that uh, there was no collusion. And people are still hanging on this shit. The amount of money and time and... Idiots that have been amped up from this for freaking two years already. I'm starting to call them the, the Democratic uh, Party of Scientology. I've been watching uh, so many Scientology videos. Pretty, uh, pretty entertaining. I didn't know the depth of it, what these people believe in and whatnot. But, uh, you know, you can see, you watch so many Scientology videos, people doing the First Amendment audits at these places, and... There's handlers that come out immediately <laughs> to control the people. You watch any Democratic uh, protest or parade or anti-abortion, there's handlers right away. Don't want you to talk to certain uh, people coming out, slightly offensive, all of that stuff. There's handlers that come out of nowhere. So it's so sad to see what the, these Democrats are turning into. You know, I, I was one. <laughs> Used to vote it, but now they're freaking gone. You know, it's so sad. It means right away, if you're a Democrat, you're pro-choice. Which is a little trickery in itself. Uh-oh, Psycho's coming. Because they just want to make it sound nice. You know, pro-choice. If, 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 if it's not legal, then it means we're taking away women's choice and, and, you know, taking away your rights and whatnot. So they had to frame it that way. And uh, now they've taken it to the extreme extent. They got people on board with pro-choice, and now they're freaking ready to kill a baby at any freaking time. Which is getting a little, little crazy here. So, they're really dragging a lot of people into uh, these different beliefs. You gotta believe in climate change. If you're a Democrat, you gotta believe in science. You know, that's, that's some of the main thing. You gotta believe in science got to believe in climate change and if you believe in climate change and science what that ends up leading to is geoengineering and none of these uh, retards out protesting the climate know nothing about geoengineering so it's it's no one you know no one really wants to hear from you <laughs> you know nothing about weather modification geoengineering 5g grid any of this stuff going on and you're just repeating what uh, science told you because it's science you know, so get your vaccines, get everything that science gives to you. Seen more recalls from science 
in the past few months. I've seen medicines recalled that are shown to cause cancer. I've seen baby uh, ibuprofen recalled for having too much ibuprofen in it. You know, science is, is as shady as politics at this point, as, as are politicians. So you can't really trust uh, everything. But if you're a Democrat, you're blindly trusted. It's science. No one can repeat, you know, any part of the studies, but they just know that someone high up in science said it. Or fucking Bill Nye, if you're lucky. <laughs> so, you know, the Democrat Party just turning a bunch of uh, drones. People you want to, to not think for themselves. And if you do think for yourself, they don't want you. That's why they're uh, going after different groups of people now. You know, they used to be chasing the, the, the black people. And it seems they pretty much gave up on the black people because the black people are starting to get a little woke here. <laughs> Along with the white people. But uh, black people are seeing that they're pandering. You know, they've been pandering to them and not uh, producing any results. Everywhere is the same freaking shithole it's been. Uh, Detroit and all of these different places. Skid Row is still the same. And everything's getting worse in these areas. So they started to go after the, uh, the illegal population. And start, starting to court them. You see in California, they're opening migrant centers, all of this good stuff on a taxpayer's dime. And they keep raising everything in California on a taxpayer's dime. Toll roads, gas tax, everything. Like, ridiculous. So that's what keeps coming from that when you keep importing people to places that the people can't afford it. <laughs> Someone's got to pay for it, so it's always an increase in taxes. It's not necessarily about the people coming in, but it's about people who are already struggling doing what they got to do to make money. So you keep letting every, you'd have to let in all, freaking three quarters of South America at this point. Venezuela's collapsing, been collapsing, which is just creating a domino effect. Those people are going to Ecuador, Colombia, other places they already got their own issues where you can't really find work. You know, so that's just going to be a chain reaction heading up this way. Uh-oh, psycho. <laughs> and Trump's right. That's why you need a wall. You know, if you want to take it down to it, I could do the wall for nothing. In that respect, you know, we got military all over the country based in the center of the country in every freaking state like we're waiting for uh, World War III to come off. You know, there's not going to be any kind of big bombs like that. So we, we take all of these military... Leave them sparse throughout the center of the country and just start putting them all along the border. Even if you got, you know, a span of miles in between military bases, who the hell is going to try and cross through a military base? <laughs> you really wouldn't need a wall. You got military out there doing exercises all day, running through hoops and running over shit. Let them get a little action right on the border. And at the same time, you're protecting the border and you ain't even got to pay for a wall. But... You know, that's what Trump wants to do. He's the freaking president. That's what happens sometimes. The president kind of gets their will a little bit. So, you know, who, who's anybody to say to, to a mother that had their child killed that, you know, we shouldn't do something about that by someone that shouldn't have been in the country in the first place? You know, Jim Acosta asked Trump today or yesterday, uh, you know, well, what do you say to someone that says it was a, it's a manufactured crisis you're making up and this and that and it's not a real drama? And Trump called them out. He said, say that to these ladies sitting right here that lost their children. Tell them that's manufactured. Tell them that's fake news. You know, who could do, you know, whew. that shows how much of a scumbag he is. People lost their freaking family over nothing, over people that shouldn't have been here. And then Acosta says, well, uh, Americans are shown that they commit a high rate. Of yeah, but they're here. They're our problem. They're our family. We got to deal with them. Other people, <laughs> they're not your family. You don't want to deal with their problems at this point. Unless you got a big, uh, big support system of money and therapists and you name it. So, it's getting ugly. Getting ugly in this country. And that's it. Because there's not going to be another war, there's no real threat of war. They're using the climate change threat. You know, like Ocasio-Cortez said, this is our World War III. The world's going to end in 12 years. They, they got to use that fear in order to, to get them with the next stage of taxes. They got to get that money. She just chased Amazon out of New York that was going to add billions of dollars in revenue. And she chased them out. <laughs> because uh, they would have had to give them a little tax credit. 
which she didn't understand the net would have been freaking outrageous. So where are they going to have to get that money from? They're going to have to start looking back to the people. All of these cities are broke. And they're all taking in, you know, new people, new programs, sanctuary cities, all of this good stuff. It's all starting to cost money. California's big uh, high-speed railway costs billions of dollars. They got $3 billion from the federal government and how much from the taxpayers, and now they're canceling it. You know, they're a big green railway because it's a freaking uh, boondoggle. But, you know, that's it. That's all we got right now is Trump. <laughs> he called out his own party. He called out, uh, what's his name? Uh, Paul Ryan. Wouldn't want to, wouldn't, didn't want to say his name, but he said it. He's like, my party should have moved on this. They didn't move on it, and it's disappointing. So the Republicans as a party, they're, they're, they're a bunch of pussies. Not saying, you know. But they're not as corrupt as the Democrats in different ways. These Democrats are, are freaking pedophiles, freaking all kinds of shit. They're, they're strange. They're Joe, creepy Joe Biden. You know, you could tell these people are they're all tied to Hollywood. They love the glitz, the glamour. Freaking Kamala Harris. They all, when the camera turns on, they're all freaking, uh, they all think they're stars. Cory Booker. And they're all a little weird. <laughs> all a little weird in my book now. Not the regular American Joe. But, uh, yeah, we're in trouble in this country. Big divide at this point. Big, big divide between people that, you know, it's nice to say you don't want a wall and everybody should have free shit and all of that stuff, but it's not reality. No one wants a wall. Who wants a wall? But freaking look at Mexico. You know? If, if Mexico had no issues, no one would want a wall. Who gives a shit? We walk across, we'll go, go for lunch, we'll come back. Who cares? But if they got drama and people are here, here are paying for that drama on top of the drugs. I mean, you want to talk about what's going on in this country with racism and all of that good shit. Which is basically stemming, you know, from the relationship with the police. Which the police are all amped up because they got to deal with people. They don't know if they have a gun. They don't know what they're going to do. And why do people, you know, go crazy when a cop pulls them over? Usually because they got drugs in the car. Not because they, you know, got a little weed, they got real deal drugs. And that shit's coming from Mexico and all different places. Mexico is producing their own poppies now. They're growing their own heroin. You know? It's, it's you know, China's importing shit through Mexico right in the ear. Why should people have to deal with that shit? Do you met tens of thousands of people getting killed every year just from freaking opiates and shit coming through? Like, are you kidding me? It's a manufactured crisis? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. Yeah, you can see the colors now. This stuff here is still white. It's getting a little yellowish. Just because it's the very end of the day, but you see the stuff down there is pinkish. That's the natural colors. I got planes, high altitude, low altitude. One just shot a chemtrail. This one's got no trail. My friend up in New Jersey today is 45 degrees. He had chemtrails. I'm in South Florida, 80 degrees. I got chemtrails. Very specific conditions to make a contrail. And it shouldn't occur at uh, a 40 degree difference. I'm down by the freaking equator here. So everything's normal, everybody. Look at this mess out here. What a mess. That's it. I said we put the military all on the border, no freaking wall. You want to cross in between military bases? Good luck to you. <laughs> then we'll have a whole bunch of money to play with. You can do something. Start pulling these people off the street. Los Angeles is disgusting. And that's another thing. You got all these people complaining. Mark Dice. Who I listen to Mark Dice. But he'll tell you how everywhere is a shithole. California is a shithole. He lives there. He lives in San Diego. You know? Why doesn't he get the hell out? He's doing good. <laughs> Who the hell would want to be in California at this point? He makes his shit from his kitchen, like he says. That other dude, what's his name? The Corbett Report. James Corbett. Watched him for years. He did documentaries on Fukushima. You know? The cover-up and the toxicity and the radiation. He still lives in Japan. So... Some of these people, man, they, they put out great productions, but they really don't adhere to their own productions. 
you know, you're supposed to have a fear for Fukushima, what went down, and this dude's living there. Fukushima is contaminating everything there. Are you kidding me? I mean, it'd be a little sketchy living on the, on the West Coast. A lot of people are concerned in California. This guy's still staying in Japan telling you how bad it is. So, a lot of deception, a lot of trickery out there. People making their money, they got to do it. But, you know, just don't take everything to heart. Yeah, see a lot of people are, are making their paycheck. They don't want to go to a real job. They want to make their money on YouTube. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, just understand, they're, they're doing it for money. <laughs> Definitely some good information in there. But when you see these people not even taking their own advice, you know, a little funny. Now there's a freaking chemtrail being laid right out there. plane just came through a minute ago and laying nothing. You can see it laying right through. What a joke. And then we got a nice one up here spreading out. Where is it? Yeah. Yep. Whole smorgasbord. Alright, people. Checking out. Peace.